Well, we're here today down at St Andrews uh, where the work is taking place on the Lost Jordanman's Fishing Memorial. And it's really fantastic to see this work after many, many years finally getting underway. And uh, I'm sure when it's finished, it'll be a fitting memorial for all those lost at sea. Well, Hull is a city built on the water and built on the sea. It has what built it to the city it is today. And so it's only right that actually the city does remember all those that sadly, as a result of that, lost their lives at sea. We believe there was between six and 8,000 uh, men lost uh, over the years at sea. The work to get this memorial here in place is, is a fitting tribute to all those. And I look forward to seeing it open uh, later this year. Well, uh, over the 150 years that the fishing industry worked from Hull, in excess of 6,000 men were lost. Some of them, of course, in wartime, but many of them in peacetime, just pursuing a profession. It's very important that this should be remembered and recognized. There's never been a single place where you could go to think about family members that were lost at sea. The number of fishermen that were actually in the profession at the time are dwindling away. But the extended families are fully aware that this profession was part of Hull. It's taught about in the schools now, thankfully, and they, they've got a place to come and reflect as well.